This is Ed Cardinal. Welcome to the Cardinal Way for Men Live. Many people who I've gotten to know in this area of Western North Carolina see me as this extremely well-conditioned aerobic trail runner, running five, four to five times a week, with my long runs being three to four hours. But that wasn't always the case when I began my trail running career here. The the roots and the rocks seem to be reaching and grabbing my feet to bring me to the to the ground, which happened frequently. In one particular day last March, I was speeding down a long hill, long downhill, and my right the tip of my right foot caught a, a rock. And I found myself face down in a pile of rocks. And as I got up, the first thing that I looked at was my hands because they hurt the worst. And I looked down and there were these two bloody contusions. And then I realized there was blood pouring from my, my right nostril. And I used my shirt to, to cover up and soak up the blood. I had three miles to go to my, my car by myself. I have to get out of here. I'm on my own. I have, to, I have to continue to run. So I began running and something made me press on my right cheek and I felt it move and I, I heard a sort of this crackling noise and I I knew I had fractured my right cheekbone. I thought to myself, maybe I shouldn't be trail running. Maybe it's too dangerous for me. And then there was the steep, daunting uphills in these Blue Ridge Mountains as I would look up and start running. I'd get a couple hundred yards up and I'd have to start walking, pressing my hands on my knees to, to help me get up and being out of breath and even with the walking being out of breath. And I thought to myself, maybe I'm not made for these mountains. Maybe I'm not made for these trails. Maybe I'm too old for this. But then there was another thought in my, my mind. Don't quit. You love being out here. Don't quit. And that's when I committed to a local race on November 4th called the Shut-In. It's been around for 44 years. Traditionally, it's 18 miles. Uh, this year, they've had to extend it, so it's 22. So making that goal, committing to that goal, and dedicating myself to that goal has forced me to to get out on the trails. Now I feel so much more comfortable and more at ease as I make my way through the trails. And it seems that those roots and rocks are not grabbing for my feet anymore. I'm, I'm falling much, much less. And those hills that I once walked up, I can now run. So through my perseverance and it hasn't been easy it's there's been some challenges and I've learned a lot through this process not only about myself but about how to run three to four miles with proper fuel knowing when to walk because there are times when it's important to, to walk up some of these hills has there ever been a time when you experienced a challenge and it doesn't have to be like mine some extreme uh, running or a, a, a race it could be anything in your life that's been a challenge have you found yourself forcing yourself to make a commitment dedicate yourself and persevere and after feeling proud feeling confident and feeling more fulfilled if you have, please personal message me just what it, what it is for you. I, I've been receiving a lot of personal messages after these lives. 
Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to get him. But personal message me a challenge that you've had that you overcame through, like I said, dedication, commitment, perseverance. I'd love to uh, love to see what it is that you've overcome in your life. Great speaking with you this evening. Until you see me again, be well. Take care. Bye bye.